Hello, welcome back. So I've just finished up the tutorial uh, and we're still in game and I thought what we'd do is have a bit more of a look around um, and see what we've got available in our, in our space here. So just we've got some kind of docks here. Hey there mate, increase your city's population to unlock the cargo ship dock. This will enable you to complete cargo shipments and earn golden keys you can use to specialise your city. Those must be the things on the right hand side up there by the sim cache. Uh, this is the trade depot, I guess. So we get 8,000 population to get that. Unlock that. Well, wow. we've only got 156. Yikes. Uh, what's this? Global Trade HQ requires 10,000. Uh, and what's this thing? Vu's Tower Disaster Challenge. 90,000 population. Yowza. Okay. Um, looks like we've got quite a large area to build in here. And this, I reckon these dotted, these are going to be uh, expansions and areas and stuff. We'll have to collect items or something probably to unlock all of these. And then each one will be, you know, a larger number and eventually we'll unlock the whole lot. Ooh, look, we've got a desert here. This is pretty cool. I wonder if that's where we have to get um, oil or coal or things like that. Maybe we have to, I wonder if we have to manage our power stations. Is there anything that they take or do they just produce power? No, I think they just, I think they just produce stuff. Hmm, cool. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, let's get some metal going. And cut out these nails. And make some more, I guess. Stack those two. And then we'll take a look at... Oh yeah, we, we got the town... Is it the town hall? Yeah, we got the town hall last time. You've got more residential zones available. Build new houses to increase your population. So we've got this in the top right... Um, sorry, not top right, bottom right here. The three residential zones. Let's tap that. Let's make some more. And I think we're going to see if we can move stuff around. Um, because I don't want the uh, factory and the power plant right by these houses. So let's, um, let's move the factory down one. And hello, Twitter. And we need a road build. Um, let's go out this way. What have we got down here? Yeah. Okay, well, let's come down to the edge and... Um, there, and take the roads road along there to the, yeah, yeah, that's the end, okay, green tick, and then let's move the factory down here, okay, we just tap and kind of hold that down, and it drags and drops, that's pretty cool, and let's move, because I think the factory was producing, yeah, pollution as well, and it looks like the pollution just moves when you move the, the thing around, so I, I guess it doesn't stay in the soil, um, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's keep the factories and the, the uh, power plants separate for now. It looks like we've got another s factory. Let's, um, okay, yeah, cool. All right, we've got two of them now. Let's keep on making metal. We're bound to need tons of this to upgrade stuff at the start. And let's go back to our uh, residential zones and houses. Awesome, so uh, we've got four we can upgrade here. We've got metal for that one. Oh, and the rewards there, just notice on the right hand side, so it tells you how much you're going to get when you upgrade, so right, that must be experience there, the purple thing in the bottom, simoleon 713, and then 52 um, sims will move in if I upgrade this one, so we've got uh, 208, so if we upgrade we should get, what, 260, drag and drop, oh, and level up! And something I I, um, I did just before I started recording this episode was when I went back and watched the footage, and I've turned the volume down a little bit on this because I think the levels are a bit off. Um, so let me know if, if the sound's a bit, a bit better now, um, or if it's too loud. I thought maybe it was a little bit too loud in, in the last episode. Um, so let me know what it's like for you. Uh, level up. I missed what the, the level up said. Next level up unlocks. Okay, I wonder what we unlocked there. Oh, it looks like we got another factory. Um, so let's build that down here again chatting away I'm not paying attention to the game okay what have we got here we've got wood okay let's um, make some wood then let's make uh, that takes three minutes okay so let's make four of those and let's keep the metal going and you can see how uh, well, I guess this is storage up here isn't it let's tap that all oh, right yeah city storage yeah this sort of garage thing so we've got 11 out of 30 right now I assume we'll be able to expand that later on um, okay, let's try and upgrade these. Yeah, and we're at 260 population, as I said. Okay, let's upgrade all of these. Drag and drop, drag and drop. Get stuff going. You've got more residential zones available. Yes, build new houses. Okay, well, 
One of the things I was thinking about um, between last episode and this was kind of how I want to design the city. Um, and I'd quite like to have different zones. I noticed in the services here, you see these specializations at the bottom. So if we tap through, we've got um, parks here. Oh, there's tons of those. Look, wow, look at all those parks. Yikes, what about this one? Oh, you need sim cash to build that. Good grief. 130,000. 800 sim cash. It's crazy. Okay, uh, what else? We've got education, transportation, entertainment, gambling, and landmarks. Ooh, landmarks. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got departments of... Yeah, department of culture. Um, and these are all the landmarks you can build at the moment. And then I assume we'll have like a department of education or something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. Oh, and this is the university. So last time uh, we were looking at power, weren't we? Um, the fusion generator or whatever it's called, fusion power plant. I want to build that. Um, so I think we'll be doing education first, these specialisations. And I think what I'd like to do, um, I was trying to get to, is um, that um, I'll have different kind of zones around the city. So maybe I'll have like an education zone and then we'll have like a landmark zone or something and see how it affects the city. Because apparently the, the buildings take on different styles um, as you sort of play later through the game and that might be quite cool. Uh, and the university looks like it's going to require all the preceding, yeah, requires community college, community college requires high school, requires public library, requires... Oh, that just requires... Library just requires Department of Education. So we don't have to build a grade school, but we probably will. And these all take building prices in these golden keys. So, yeah, we're going to have to get the this um, cargo thing unlocked, aren't we, to get golden keys. So that's going to be quite a way away. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do some more upgrading. Uh, keep things moving. Um, and what I thought I'd do with these episodes is try and keep stuff to maybe sort of 10-15 minutes per episode. Um, let me know what you think about the length, um, whether you're enjoying the, the series, you know, if it, if it feels about right. Uh, I think it, you know, a shorter episode is, is good because you know, it's a mobile game, it's something you're playing on the move. And apparently with um, SimCity Builder you can actually play on the move and then you kind of get home or to wherever you are with a signal. Um, and then you can synchronize your city with the cloud and, and it works. Right, level up. Let's not miss the, the new stuff this time. So, unlocked parks. And what else? Small fountain park building unlocked. And what else? We've got modern art park. Cool. And a plumb bob park. I bet that's going to be the, the premium thing, isn't it? And another factory. Okay, so we'll build that straight away. Oh, and new production unlocked planks. And that looks like it's it. Okay, so let's build uh, some more wood. Let's build a bunch of metal. Um, if you've got, oh, look, we got... I didn't see that before either. It tells you how much you've got in city storage. So when you press on it and hold it there, you've got production time and how many you've currently got. So we'll need a bunch of those. Gather those ones. And let's put some more wood. Cool. And upgrade that. Right, so we've got 568 sims so far, and that was like 104, so only 600 and, and something. Everyone loves parks. In your city, parks will boost the population of the residential buildings surrounding them. Okay. And that's unlocked, yeah. So these are going to turn blue over time. There's the plumb bump. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, look, it's 140 sim cash. That does look nice, though. Let's drag it out there and see what it... Yeah, it's kind of cool. Can we zoom in on that? Yeah, kind of classic, you know, SimCity style. Um, so what are we gonna what are we gonna build today? We have got modern art park. We have got small fountain park, and the plumb bob park was it, wasn't it? Um, I don't like that modern art park. Um, that's funny. That red and blue really clashes. Um, so area eight by six. That must be the influence area. Yeah, look, you can see the. We can put it down this end. No, just on the side of the road there. So we can't put stuff on the end of roads. It looks like we can't stick it down there on the end. We can only put it where the road is sort of um, flat along the side. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like the, the colours of that one. So I think we'll go with a small fountain park. Population boost is 5%. So with those bars you can see rising and falling must be the, the amount of population we've got in there. 8 by 8 area and 4,000. We've got 23, well just short of 23,000 right now. Oh, and as I move it around, if you, if you see the number just under parks there, you can see the... I guess the benefit of the park, yeah, look, we got we get plus 10 sims, we put it there, we get plus 22 here. Let's stick it there, and then let's do a little bit of redesigning. Um, let's make a bit more 
Oh, right. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Ayla. Uh, Mayor, did you see those blue bars rising when placing the building? That means the population is growing. Yes, I did. Uh, let's build a bit more road. Um, and I think I said at the start, yeah, I'm gonna... I want to try and do this kind of city in zones. And I want to have, like, a main street, um, main road all the way down. Um, I guess we'll unlock these expansion areas later. Um, I'm gonna have, like, a main road all the way down. You know, maybe right to the end. And then like different zones off it um but for now we're going to concentrate our building around this this main road rather than kind of branching out um just to make sure that everything's kind of gathered together and we can you know, get as much benefit out of these um parks and population boosts and stuff as we can upgrade that building is that this i like you i don't know why but i do <laughs> well thank you very much let's upgrade this Okay, we get 154 new sims when we upgrade this. Population dropped. Ah, right, okay, right. So the when stuff is upgrading, um, we lose the sims that are currently in it, and then we get them back at the end, I guess, uh, when it finishes upgrading. So let's move these around and try and get the park in the middle of the buildings we've got currently. And I think I'm going to move the water tower out of the way as well. Put that down here. Capacity on that is 9, demand is still 4. Well, we've got more zones on that, haven't we? 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we've got 5. Oh, right, okay, hang on. Let's, let's go back into power. No, it was water, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's right. So, uh, when something is being upgraded, it looks like it doesn't count towards the demand, which makes sense, I guess, because they're not using the water. But um, you can see we've got 5 zones there with the little circles on the end that are actually pulling uh, water from the from the grid or, or whatever you call it. Um, let's drag and drop that upgrade. Let's make some more nails. Oh, we've got no metal left. Yikes. You really have to keep on top. There's quite a bit of resource management here. You've got to kind of keep going quite fast. And I guess that's the same for all these kind of styles of games at the start. You, you know, you really need to keep on top of your resource production in the early days. Um, and then it kind of, you know, flattens out later on. Sometimes I like to swim in the fountain tap. And we can upgrade this one as well. Great. Okay, right. So we're going to move these things around. I want to keep the, the town hall kind of in the centre and the park in the centre for now. So let's move this down um, sort of here. So one, two, there's one house, another house, and then kind of there. And then we'll put the... Um, one of the buildings on that side and that one and then move this one down to that side as well. We've got three more residential zones we can build. Oh look at the fireworks going off. That's pretty nice. And then let's put the park um, opposite the... oops that's not the park. Um, okay well let's put that there and put the park opposite the town hall. Can I do that? Yes I can. Cool. Right, and then we'll build um, up kind of along this side here, and then we'll put some more residential zones in down there as well. Uh, let's stick the um, that one next to the park as well, and then tap the park again, and we'll see how much... Right, so we've got 36 there. Now, by just sort of moving things around and making sure it's influencing as much as possible, we've now got 36, um, this sort of population boost from that park. That's pretty nice. Um, tap the tree. I threw a ceremony on the fountain. Got my wish. Cool. That's nice for you. Let's build some more of these residential zones. And we are going to have to be quite careful uh, that we don't go over capacity here, because power and water was was quite low, wasn't it? Was it 12 and 9 or something? Yeah. So demand's five. We just built another three, so we're going to be eight as soon as those finish and we upgrade them. What was power? Was it? It was 12, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Demand five. Um, so we'll need to be building more power and water quite soon. Let's upgrade all of these if we can. And let's drag and drop that one, and that one. Level up! Yeah, let me know how, how loud that music is um, on the video. If it's a bit too loud, we'll turn it down. Building unlocked city storage. Right, okay, so that must be where we put everything. Hardware store, and a new production item, hammers. I think we'll make those. Is that going to be in the building supplies? Oh no, oh we got planks here haven't we? I forgot about the planks. Oh, okay. Cool. 
Right, well, I guess this is a good a good place to end it. I think what I'll do, I'll do one more episode. Um, I'll build a bunch of stuff here. Um, let that complete. Um, and then go ahead and start recording another episode. I'll upload all three of those together um, so you can get a flavour of what the game's about. And then I'll leave some time between uh, the third and fourth episode. Um, and you can, you know, pass on the feedback and stuff. So, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Thanks very much for watching, as usual. And I'll see you again next time.